you know, when the flood came, of course, I live a mile away and our house was flooded as well. Our cattle were impacted, fenced on. We have pens flat on the ground, we have barns flat on the ground, we have fences flat on the ground. When the storm hit, we were primed for right at 200,000 bales. We hope we get 100 out of it now. We have faith and we will make it through it. And like I told my wife when we were in the house and the water was rising, I just gave her a hug and I said, we'll make it. The Texan spirit was alive and well. Everybody really came together and helped each other out, you know, in agriculture and outside of agriculture. We're here to tell you that we're here to help, but we're going to use every flexibility we've got on the statutes and every, every easing of anything that we can do to help you recover. To see the resiliency, the, the, the folks that we talked to, they weren't going to quit, they weren't going to give up, they're going to stay in business, and uh, it was just really heartfelt to see the, the optimism in the face of the stunning uh, setback that was Harvey to uh, what was otherwise a record cotton crop for that part of Texas.